What's going on everyone? I am at Cape Town International Airport and I'm on my way to the Philippines. Alrighty guys, we're looking for Ethiopian Airlines. Right, so that's the customs uh, office and uh, I just went to go and declare some of my items. Uh, the last thing I want is getting back to South Africa and being searched for items that I actually left with. So uh, I just thought I'd safeguard myself and uh, go and declare those items. Got the form filled in, stamped and now I can leave with those items and I can come back safely with those items. Unless obviously I'm going to buy new items over there, uh, which normally is very unlikely. But yeah, I've done the right thing and I'm happy about that. Flying with Ethiopian Airlines, uh, it's two stops altogether. First stop will be in Addis Ababa, the second one in Hong Kong, and then finally from Hong Kong to Manila. Well, I'll be spending a night in Manila and then from there go on to Cebu. But I'll tell you more about that much later. Alrighty guys, so time to get a quick bite, a drink or maybe a hot chocolate or something. And then I'll be on my way. Hey guys, this is my brother Alton. Hey, check him out, Thorn Gaming Club. Subscribe. Check it out, please subscribe, like and subscribe. We'll have the link at the bottom of the description. <laughs> yeah. Alright, cool. I've arrived in Addis Ababa and I'm about to uh, catch my connecting flight. Be for about an hour, I think. But first, I gotta check uh, the gate number and everything. My next flight is to Hong Kong and I'm supposed to go to gate C11. Hopefully, the food will be great again. Service will be great as with the first flight. So, uh, kudos to Ethiopia for the amazing service that they've given me. Looking forward to this. Can't wait to get to Manila. Hey guys, so we've just arrived in Hong Kong at the airport at least. Uh, I'm still in the plane. We're not disembarking. So we're just waiting on passengers now to enter the plane. Um, it was about nine hours in Tokyo from Addis Ababa to Hong Kong. So now just another two hours and then we're good to go. And then uh, here we come.
So guys, you got to fill in a e-travel e card on arrival. So normally you do it online. Obviously, if you didn't do it, they'll allow you a chance to do it at the airport as well. But you do need to present that thing. So you get a QR code. And you've got to fill in all your details, uh, health details, address details, and so forth. Alright guys, so we've arrived in Manila, finally. Alright, so I've been through immigration, I've been through passport control, and now I'm on my way to the exit. And I'm just going to try and find a ride to my accommodation in Kazan City. So there's no Uber in um, the Philippines. But there's an app called um, Grab, which is exactly, I think, exactly the same. It works exactly the same as uh, Uber. So, so I'm just going to try and find one now and then go to my accommodation. Right, I've just put the Grab and my guy is on his way. guys I just wanted to show you my accommodation so I'm staying at Dormitos they're out here in uh, Kazan city What's up? All right, guys, let's check this out. So what do we have? We have sockets for you for charging your phone. We've got the reading lamps. We have sleep mode, which I suppose turns out all of the lights. The fan, is to control the fan. There we go. And this one is to control the aircon. Uh, this one is to control the light color. Let's see. Oh, it's a nice one. 